Yeah, well, that, that's sort of more relating to deep AI. That's something I think we should be concerned about, because that may or may not turn out well. I'm going to talk about a failure of intuition that many of us suffer from. I'm going to describe a scenario that I think is both terrifying and likely to occur. I'm going to describe how the gains we make in artificial intelligence could ultimately destroy us. At a certain point, we will build machines that are smarter than we are. And once we have machines that are smarter than we are, they will begin to improve themselves. Think about it. Machine intelligence is the last invention that humanity will ever need to make. The machines will then be better at inventing than we are. Think of all the crazy technologies that you could have imagined maybe humans could have developed in the fullness of time. So cures for aging, space colonization, self-replicating nanobots or uploading of minds into computers, all kinds of science fiction stuff that's nevertheless consistent with the laws of physics. All of this and super intelligence could develop and possibly quite rapidly. Now this is often caricatured, as I have here, as a fear that armies of malicious robots will attack us. But that isn't the most likely scenario. Some people think that some of these things are sort of science fiction, far out there, crazy. To make any headway with this, we must first of all avoid anthropomorphizing. And this is um, ironic because every newspaper article about the future of AI has a picture of this. And so I think what we need to do is to conceive of the issue more abstractly, not in terms of vivid Hollywood scenarios. It's not that our machines will become spontaneously malevolent. The concern is really that we will build machines that are so much more competent than we are that the slightest divergence between their goals and our own could destroy us. Now, a superintelligence with such technological maturity would be extremely powerful. Once there is superintelligence, the fate of humanity may depend on what the superintelligence does. But the, the, the thing that's uh, most dangerous is, is a kind of a deep intelligence in the network. He said, well, what harm could a deep intelligence in the network do? So, well, it could start a war um, by, create, by doing fake news and spoofing email accounts and fake press releases and just by, you know, manipulating information. The pen is mightier than the sword. You know, that, like that, there was that second Malaysian airliner that was shot down uh, on the uh, Ukrainian-Russian border? And that, that really amplified tensions between Russia and the, the EU um, in, in a massive way. Well, I, I, let's say if you had a, an AI that was, uh, where the AI's goal was to maximize the value of a portfolio of stocks, um, one of the ways to maximize value would be to uh, go uh, long on defense, short on consumer, start a war. Uh, how could it do that? Well, you know, hack into the Malaysian Airlines uh, aircraft routing server, route it over a war zone, um, then send an anonymous tip that an enemy uh, aircraft is flying overhead right now. Now you might say, well, if a computer starts sticking electrodes into people's faces, like, we just shut it off. A, this is not necessarily so easy to do if we've grown dependent on the system. Like, where is the off switch to the internet? B, why haven't the chimpanzees flicked the off switch to humanity? The point here is that we should not be confident in our ability to keep a super intelligent genie locked up in its bottle forever. Sooner or later, it will out. <laughs>